The key issue here is how long do we have in that lower plane, in the six o'clock line, in the third dimension? How long do we have before the Earth itself begins to go into the next dimension and we no longer maintain life in the third dimension on planet Earth? Well, only those who are able to go with the ascension will be able to stay with planet Earth. The others will be forced to find another planet where they can continue their third dimensional existence without balancing a certain amount of the karma 51 percent is that number without balancing that 51 percent of karma one doesn't become eligible for an ascension and this is only one of the phases we also have to complete our dharma it's enough it's enough to do those two things to complete our work on earth but our last and third final um, thing is that we need to accept the the ascension. So if we accept an ascension, then we are ready to ascend. So if you look at the history of the planet, the Earth itself has a scale of its own, and it doesn't really it doesn't really matter if we drag our feet, because the Earth at this point. And we don't know what that is, how that fits on the calendar. But at this point, the Earth is getting ready to make an ascension. We're in the seventh age. We entered the seventh age of Saint Germain, the Chohan of the seventh ray. And this we entered in 1954, going into 1955. And the inheritance meant that we were now in our last cycle. Now, I interpret that to mean, oh, we've got a cycle left. So a cycle means 2,000 years. We're in the seventh cycle. It lasts 2,000 years when that is completed. By the time that is completed, I feel we will be in the next dimension. And there will only be those who are able to go to the next dimension and remain with the planet Earth. So this is why the, the ascension teachings and the ascension work is so important at this time. And this is why the masters have intensified their their appeal to humanity to come into awareness of the ascension and its purpose and how it is our divine plan.